Good day. Thank you for joining me for another episode of Minecraft in Exile. Pick up where we left off last time here. Which I believe was digging downward. Yes, trying to... Yes, yes, yes. Oh, there's the... I saw that actually at the end of the last one. An axolotl over there. And a bat. And zombies and creepers and... All that fun stuff. Okay, so anyway. Continue the descent here. Whoop, how are we? How deep are we? Minus eight. Oh, okay, so the gold level is not that much further down. The optimal gold level, I should say. And now we get the clay. Certainly easier to dig. Oh. All right, that's kind of what I was expecting. So I guess we'll continue to build a staircase here. Okay, this isn't going to work out too badly. I was hoping to clear that, that cavern entrance, which, yeah, I kind of did, more or less. So, hello, zombie. Are there any creepers around? Hopefully not. I gotta get me some better weapons. Okay, uh, let's see here. Continue this way. So that's working out pretty well, actually. Okay, and uh, how deep are we again? Oh, we're already at 17. Okay, well, so the minus 16 level, we should probably open out and celebrate a little bit here, which is right here. Oh, is that the stairway? No. No, it is not. All right. What commentary should I be providing on this? So how about those politics? The nutty man, nutty. so that we get less uh, less monsters coming and trying to destroy me. Enderman? Enderman. Hmm. Guess I could dig myself a little Enderman fighting hole, couldn't I? How are we doing for iron? Oh, right in my right in my main inventory. Nine. It's actually enough for a helmet and boots. Isn't it? It is. Let's slap a torch on top of that moss block. And there, and might as well run myself out of torches, I guess. Hello, Enderman. Should I anger you? Got the lava fall. Ooh. Ooh, that's a biggie. That's a biggie. Doot, 
two Endermen. I could dig myself a little fighting hole right here. Oop, or not. Can they stand there? No, they cannot. Okay, so that should be all right. Okay, Enderman, let's let's have let's have a go, shall we? Oh, a little junior zombie. Maybe I should deal with him first. Uh. Aren't those guys delightful? You, where's your buddy? Where's your partner? Shouldn't you be trying to kill me? There we go. Yes, come I mean, I looked you right in the eyes. That's obviously... Obviously that's the, the best of all possible reasons to try to kill me. Copper... Is that gold up there? I think it is. I can't dig gold without an iron pickaxe, though. I think there's some more gold there. Looks like, again, I need the iron pickaxe. And where'd the other Enderman go? I didn't get a pearl off that first guy. What is that? Oh, glowberries. Let's get some free glowberries, shall we? Okay. Alrighty. I think it is time to go... pretty soon. Oh, tough. Tough, that's called. The most useless, one of the more useless substances in Minecraft. I don't think it has any use. Oops, I don't have any. Dang it, I wasted my glowberry. Oh well, there's no shortage of them out there. I do not have any torches. I could, should probably rectify that, actually. Alrighty, full stack of torches. And stick one there. What's our depth? 19. Uh, I'm trying to remember if there's something at negative 32. Can't recall. Have to look that up, I guess. Oh, yay! So the bottom of the world, I think, is where diamonds tend to be. Obviously, you can find them in other places, but much more prevalent in the depths of minus 58, I think it is. 64 is the bottom of the world, negative 64. And uh, five, la five layers where it is... Um, Oh, what is that called? The blocks that you can't dig and can't blow up. Can't remember what they're called. Anyway, they're indestructible. So you can't fall out the bottom of the world without some chicanery. Or maybe in creative mode, I suppose. I've never tried. How are we doing here? We're getting there. Another 20... 23. 
again, I'm going to need an iron pickaxe in order to dig any of those things, but it would be nice to get a little more iron. Oh, there was some in that one cavern behind the lava fall, wasn't there? Looked like it might be readily accessible. And obviously there's a zombie pretty close by. And I hear skeletors. Skeletroniums. Skelebellies. Oh, here we are. What's oh a mine shaft. No kidding. Oh the interesting things you will see. Hello. Oh yeah, come here, come here, come here. Interesting. Oh no. Oh, shoot each other, please. Yes, that's what we want. Till I can heal up. Carry on shooting each other. Don't don't let me stop you. I do find that funny how the skeletons will uh, fight each other if they if they shoot each other, or if one of them shoots the other one. I should say. Sounds like one of them lost. Maybe I'll get a bow out of this. I mean, obviously I could make a bow, which I should probably do. Alrighty, so... Where are ya? Where is ya? Where is ya? Kind of cool how we just stumbled right into the middle of a, I guess, a couple of corridors here. Mine, mine shafts. Oh, good. Hello. Am I full? Oh, my inventory's full. I guess that's another good reason to retreat. Uh, do I have things I don't give a damn about? Probably. Tough, for one. And, oh, there's an Enderman. No fighty, no fighty right now, Mr. Enderman. Please and thank you. Oh, and this goes into the, another or probably a continuation of the the uh, lush cave. Yeah, well, can you get over there? You can. Dang, dang ya. Dang ya, Mr. Skeleton. You gonna come over? Oh, you're up there. Is that, or is there another one? Oh, there's two. Okay, I better. I'd best retreat here. Just get a quick look around. Or do I continue my descent? Kind of not out of food. I've got the fish here, and I've got the zombie flesh, which is sort of the food of of necessity. If you oh crap, that was brilliant. Oh no, I'm di ah, I thought I was going to die there. <laughs> Let's get some light on the area here. You hear the evil hiss and think, oh, I'm done for when it's right on top of you. Okay, so there's where we fell through the floor. Um... What I'm not sure of is how to 
build the staircase properly. Okay, so right there. So that one, I guess it could be dirt, of course, but. I would rather do it of, out of stone. I think that's right. Now I think with the lava being my indicator, we're getting pretty close to the bottom of the world here. Actually, these caverns certainly helped that process. Um, all right. I'd best go re regroup pretty quick here. I think it's also time for an iron pickaxe and a little bit more armor. How are we doing here? 56. Okay, we're just about there. So probably I'll just carry on down to the bottom of the world and then um, then head back up. Come back and look for diamonds with an iron pickaxe in tow. Okay, we want a night. Oh, this is negative 58. Okay. So I think this is the depth where one would seek diamonds. And I think one would do that. Probably digging four high to maximize the possibility of finding them. And just a little bit of a chamber here. Not much. Not much. And let's just carry on down to the bottom of the world, just for fun. Just so we can say we visited. Oh, wait a minute. This is it right here. And that is, oh, bedrock. Yeah, I don't know why I couldn't remember that. Bedrock, just like the Flintstones. Where the Flintstones live, of course. Where do the Flintstones live? In bedrock. So minus 59, which is where I'm at, is the level where the bedrock basically starts. Or at least the bedrock will be at the block below 59. So I think I'll fill this in probably with deep slate, cobbled deep slate, and uh, can find some interesting things this deep might be fun to build a giant concert hall or something down here for all the concerts maybe a village ooh there's a thought a village at the bottom of the world i've never done that before that is a cool idea at least i think it is Okay, now, how many stairs do I have? Probably nowhere near enough, but that's okay. Get as many placed as we can. Oh. Uh, yeah, right. I need to be able to... need enough height to ascend the stairs, which I didn't take care of here at all. 
because I was filling in. So we'll fix that up right now. So. One, two, I think, is that three, four? I think it is. Um, it is, just barely, just barely enough to use the stairs. can fix that more later. Let's, uh, let's place some upside down stairs. Everybody loves to do that. Oh, I guess if I position myself right, I can do three. Probably I knew that before. Okay, that's a little bit quicker. Ah, ah yes, the ceiling. Mm -hmm. Well, that didn't work. Clay. Who doesn't love clay? I love clay. Ooh, all right. This is where I had to turn the corner. Right. So, okay, I guess that works. And, uh, like so. And there we go. Now to do some more hopping. Lots of hopping. I need a whole bunch more stairs. Oh, actually, not that many. I might actually have that many stairs in the old construction chest. Doesn't take that long to run up and down to the depths, which is nice. It's raining. Oh, oh it's raining again. All right, we'll make a, another row for cobbled deep slate, thereby clearing out a lot of inventory space, put the cobble together, put some little odds and ends away, and how am I doing for, oh I don't have any. So the reason for groups of eight when you're smelting, oh, I, oh right I forgot about that, is that um, that's how many that's how many things one one um, item of coal or one unit of coal or charcoal will smelt. So I need a pickaxe, so let's do that. If I'm gonna be looking for diamonds. Isn't it iron pick? Shout out to Alanis Morissette who I very much enjoy as an artist, performing artist. Actually, she's great in her little bits in the, in the show um, The Great North. She's a, she's a imaginary friend of one of the characters who lives in the Northern Lights and it is, and it's voiced by Alanis and it's, uh, it's great, quite fun. not a main character, obviously. And what am I doing, you ask? I'm looking at my phone. Why wouldn't I? I'm also kind of waiting for the uh, iron. So I've got an iron pick, which is great. And um, I could use some more iron armor. Oh, it's done. Great. Okay, so let's sort out the armor. I need a helmet. And I need boots. And I guess I have enough for a sword, so let's hook that up. I'll do some more damage to those uh, stupid critters down there. Oh, let's put the gravel and the clay away. I don't have a spot for gravel and clay. I... gravel's another one of those things. It has some uses, but not 
not a tremendous number of uses. Well, why am I carrying wheat around, you ask? That's a fine question. I do not know the answer to that. I don't have a bow yet. Annoying. Tools, tools, tools. Let's put the iron away. Right there. And I need more iron to make a... Oh, I should maybe make a shield, actually. Let's do that. That's quite helpful against creepers and, well, against everything, but creepers and skeletons in particular. Okay, what else? Clay and... Clay and gravel need a home. Start storing some planks there. All right, well, I guess clay and gravel need, need a home of their own. So, I guess maybe that'll be a chest all by itself. Why didn't I do that in one go, you ask? Oh, that's a fair question. I don't know the answer to that. Let's make a sign while I'm at it. Why not? Clay and gravel. the lush caves uh, around. Should be able to get a real terracotta thing going if I wish, which I probably do wish. Let us put that. Oh no, that's not what I want to do. Let's see. How does that work? If I roast the clay balls... I get bricks, I think, and then if I combine the clay into clay balls into clay blocks, then I get terracotta blocks. That's right. Very nice. Okay. Oh, and stairs. I need some stairs. Where's my construction? Oh, yeah, I got enough. I've got enough. Let's put some signs in there. And, uh,. Do I want to put anything else away? Maybe I'll uh, top up the coal fuel there. That will transition to charcoal at some point. All right, back to the, oh, how are we doing for time here? One, two minutes. So we run to the depths. I won't be able to run all the way down because the, ce the ceilings aren't high enough, but anyway, my main thing here is to finish the staircase, which we will be able to do in, in the time that is available. I've actually been running over the half hour thing. It's, it's hard to do it exactly. I'm not, I don't have a stopwatch running or anything. Okay, this is the iron digging level, and maybe I'll... start digging the extra height on the way down here now. It's nice to be able to run both up and down. Oh, what have we here? Oh, whoops, I actually didn't want... <laughs> that was a mistake. Okay, I want some blocks there to force me to turn the corner. There we go. All right, the, the charcoal. Okay, so... Or charcoal. Good lord. The gravel. Okay, I think for this episode's 
thrilling conclusion. I will, um, is that high enough? It's hard to tell here. Did I only dig? Oh, one too many. Isn't this fun? Wonder if I should do this off camera. There are some things that maybe I will do. So far I've done everything in this game on recording. But there are things like this that honestly are not very interesting. I mean for me they're fine because like I said, as I have said in the past, Doing oh nice, doing this kind of thing in the game is I actually find it kind of soothing. Uh, there should be more iron there I would expect. Let's see. No. Just one. Seriously. Oops. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Just one block of iron ore. Whoops. So weird. All right. Uh, okay, I think we're undoubtedly over time here. So, on that note, I will say, I will bid you adieu. Thank you so much for watching. Take good care of yourselves, and I'll see you next time.